Welcome to the Wee Blinds. This is our review of Evil King Arthur. Okay, it's not really Evil King Arthur. It's it's Artoria Pendragon Altar. Saber class for Fate Grand Order. Now this character, along with Artoria Pendragon herself, has been pretty, around pretty much since the beginning. It's a four-star character, but she she hurts. She is as surprisingly hurty for a four-star, especially considering Saber class, the AOE, and all. I mean, yeah, she's hurty. Um, besides her dark demeanor, uh, let's just get the first skill. First skill. First skill. Mana burst. A increases own buster performance for one turn up to fifty percent. Okay, well, that's fine and dandy and all, but yeah, okay. Second skill, gain critical stars, 14. Didn't that sound like Mordred's? Now, if you upgrade that, though, charges of MP gauge by 20%, gains critical, more critical stars, up to 20. Got that skill maxed. But the Noble uh, Phantasm generation, that's flat. That's 20% regardless of what skill level it is. So that actually makes that a pretty decent skill. Yeah. Third skill. Enti entire party attack up for three turns for a whopping freaking 12%. Yeah, that's... Uh, at least she plays a little well with others or something. Yeah, 12%, that is lackluster as can be. I, that is low. And there's no upgrade for it or nothing. It, that, that's just bad. It's just, yeah, okay. Anyways, Noble Phantasm. Noble Phantasm is basically standard Saber class AoE. Once again, throws down the sword, big beam of light comes out, boom, things die, right? Standard damage, there's no upgrade to it. The overcharge is, charges their own MP. 10% base. You're not concerned with this. I mean, I mean, if you somehow, you know, overcharge, get it up to 500%, you get a whole 30 for doing that. You're not concerned with it. it it's, no. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just see her in action for a bit. Now, Artoria Alter, thankfully she has a couple of arts cards compared to some other sabers and such, but she has two arts cards, a quick, two busters. And right now I could do an arts buster arts chain just to kind of you know, get some really good stuff out of this. But the arch chain itself, along with a Stalfo Saber there, definitely gonna be better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, see what kind of thing uh, arts she can generate in her second and third hit. Okay. Get 20 for the chain. Nine on the second, a little bit more on that, so 27 total for two normal hits after. That's actually pretty low if you think about it. Didn't really help her, did it? Nah, not really. But that's the thing with uh, some Saber classes, especially Artoria. Even Artoria 5 star, it's kind of hard for her to do what you gotta do, really. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mop up here. Try to get her thing charged here. Oh, I can do it on this one. Shouldn't be a problem. We get to slay a bunch of dragons or waverns or whichever they are. There, there, there is a difference, but yep. Alright, let's charge this up. Do some self buffs. Thankfully, we got an old girl over here with that 50%. Alright, charged up. All self buffed. I'm not going to put anything else on her. Let's see how hard she hits. I love that new costume. <laughs> the casual wear. Hundred and eighty-one thousand. Now that's really good for a four star. Ours is NP three, so it is bu uh, buffed up a little bit. But even at NP three, four star. That's good. It's not that far away from some five-star saber or AOE uh, damage. So, yeah, she hits hard. All right, as you see, 
Charging up her noble phantasm is a little iffy. I mean, her arts only get like two hits or something, or quick cards like two hits. It's She needs either crits, a good chain, or something to get that arts really, really going. Um, so she's not very good at charging her own NP. A little bit of help. It's okay. She has a skill as long as it's upgraded. Can bump that up and get a little bit quicker. Not a problem. Her noble phantasm, though... That's hurdy. Her Noble Phantasm is surprisingly hurdy for a four star. Um, I'm not going to say Artoria Pendragon five star level, of course, but it hurts. I mean, if you're looking for a four star saber that just does a, I mean, there you go. There, there's no question about that. So, I mean, really quickly, like, does that go into, you know, do you need this character and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, if you got if you got five star Artoria already, or you know, or even Mordred, or a few other of the AOE classes, well, yeah, you don't really need her. But you know, if you need a four star to fill the gaps or something, or just a little something to toss in, she's good. Uh, she pops up with another banner for some other five star character or whatever that you want. Yeah, definitely, it, that doesn't hurt getting her whatsoever. Um, if it's only her on a banner, which I don't think will ever happen, uh, that would be no. You wouldn't. Why would they do that? They wouldn't do that. So why am I talking about it? I don't know. I'm here. Who cares? Um, yeah, do get her. That's that's my overall opinion. Do get her. Two to three copies for that whole damage economy thing with the Noble Phantasm. And yeah, she might be a little dark. She might be a little snarky. But hey, she's cool and she does the damage that she needs. With that, like, subscribe, notification button. Streaming here on YouTube. Streaming over on Twitch.tv slash The Weeb Lounge for a little while longer. And more Kono Super Fantastic Days things here at Fate Grand Order, etc., etc. We'll see you in the next video.